Please read the disclaimer. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the final maximum racing game. Thank fuck for that. Thank fuck for that. <sighs> and that one is sprint cars. Sprint cars, yes, of course. I love how they do it in reverse. Oh yes, let's have let's have royalty free bloody Alabama music, whatever you want to call it. Fantastic. So there, alright, so So, Ma Maximum Racing Sprint Cars, released in May 2011. Um, it's a port of Sprint Car Challenge on the PS2. There we go. So, let's briefly play this dog shit, and then we can finally shelve Maximum Racing and never look at it again. Never look at a Brain in the Jar video game ever again. Have a, uh, we can't have anything but a sprinter, apparently. Because we're not good enough. I could drive a winter pass. It's good at winter pass. I like how they use pretty much the same tracks also, quite often. Yes, fantastic. At least the texturing on the wheels look reasonable. It's always nice. Oh, yes. Of course. Oh, yeah, he just slams into the wall. He doesn't know what he's doing. Get out. There we are. Oh, yes, fantastic. These controls are terrible. Of course they are. I like how that 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 little bump caused him to have to respawn. I love how the controls are terrible. The, this time around, they're absolutely it's like it's no control whatsoever of the uh, of the vehicle, really. Maybe because we're in snow, but I'm giving, I think I'm giving the game the benefit of a doubt there. Oh good, we got rid of the uh, stupid little thing on the top. Fantastic. So yeah, this game does not control particularly well, mainly because I think we're driving on dirt. So there's a lot of skiddy skiddiness. Or flame brand is. But the turning is terrible. Oh look, and there's also that, that, that happens a lot as well. Obviously we're on fucking snow, which also doesn't help. That's always uh, another thing. Maybe if we pick a different track, we won't have so many issues. Somehow I doubt it. And the wheel is stuck in the... Oh, lovely. The wheel got stuck in the wall there for a second. Hmm, I've already had enough of this. Fantastic. Alright, let's pick a different track, because I don't know what the fuck's happening with this. Race. Dusty Cross. De Greco Bowl. Let's go to the De Greco Bowl. Because why not? De Greco Bagecco. Spagecco Leleco. See, you can already tell I'm kind of losing it with playing these. I'm so happy to not have to play these ever again. Get out of my way. Here we go. Yes. Round the bowl. The fish bowl. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, look. Isn't it nice when the game looks like it's struggling to to render the fucking ground because of the dirt or something. I don't know. Uh... I am bored already. This game is boring. Yay. So boring. So boring. I wonder if it was the actual track that was causing the issue. It must have been. And, uh... Right. I have a massive temptation to absolutely fuck... Oh, yes. Did he smash? Oh, he smash and crash. He definitely smash and crash. Get fucked, boy. Don't come back. Oh, we got this Mr... We got Mr. Chow behind us. And Mr. Bao Bao ahead of us. That's not good. What about Jimmy G and Jabelju and Jajai? What about Gwyn Gwyn and Alala? I'm losing my fucking mind playing this. Absolutely losing it. Because this is so exciting. Do you find this game exciting? I do. Such an exciting experience. Oh, we're in the final lap, boys. Oh my word. I don't think we're going to catch up, if I'm honest.
So how's everyone? Everyone having a good week? I hope, you know, everyone having a good day. I hope your day's been, well, been good. Yeah. I, I hope you've had a good day today. I hope you've had a fantastic day. I hope you had a good week overall. You know, don't let things get to you, yeah? I'm just saying, just don't, don't, you know, life's too short, right? Life, life's too short to, to let the little things get to you. You know, if there's, there's people causing you issue at work, just fuck those people. Fuck them with a didgeridoo. Because those people don't matter. You matter. You, the watcher. You are the one that matters. Most of all. You see that dude I just flipped over? He didn't matter. He was a little fucking baby boy. He little baby. Shouldn't been on the track. You know what I mean? He didn't matter. But you? You matter. You know why? Because you're watching this video right now. That's why you matter. But no, seriously, you know. Shit happens in life. and It may get you down, but you've got to recover. You've got to look at it objectively and think, eh, shit happens. And that's the best, you know, some people say that saying is not particularly great. I don't. I don't like the saying of, that's life. Because I don't think that is life. You know, something happens and you think, oh, fuck's sake, you have to now suddenly pay out a lot of money for, for something just because of some bullshit. You think to yourself, oh, fuck's sake, and then someone goes, oh, well, that's life. You know, shit, stuff like that happens. And you think, well, we... but why does it happen? There are some instances in life I can agree with. I can go, yes, yes, you know, that is a shit happens moment. But then there's some other stuff I think to myself, nope. I think, yeah, that, that could have been avoided. That could have been. And unfortunately, it had nothing to do with me. I, I couldn't actually do anything about it. I had no involvement. It's just, I'm the one paying the fucking bill. I'm just saying, you know. I'm just saying that this game is incredibly fucking boring and talking about anything that isn't this game is more exciting than playing this game and even talking about this game. And I just thought I'd let you know, the viewer, that you matter. You do matter. You do matter. Don't let that bullshit get to you. You'll be fine. You'll get through it. We'll all be good together. Okay? I'm glad we had this little talk. I'm glad. I am honestly glad we had this little talk. I'm also glad I smashed him into the fucking wall. You know. No, he recovered pretty well from that. It's the only enjoyable moment of this game. Oh, I fuck knows what those two are doing. I want to be a part of that! <laughs> yeah, boy! Get fucked. Oh, I got the wobbly wheel syndrome now. Fantastic. You ever had that? Bit of wobbly wheel, bit of wobbly dobbly. You ever have a? You ever had a knobbly bobbly? That's an ice cream, by the way. Knobbly bobbly is a good. One. Fuck off. Fuck off, con. You are keen. I don't deal with kids. I got the wobbly dobbly wheel. Wobbly dobbly. Stuck in the wall. Wobbly dobbly. You ever had a twister? You know, t t what's your favourite ice cream? No, seriously, what's your favourite ice cream? Post in the comment section below what your favourite ice cream is. I do like myself a Magnum. You know, Nobbly Bobbly is kind of like a... You don't really... I don't know. What is Nobbly Bobbly? Is it like a British ice cream? It's got to be something like a British ice cream. Oh, get fucked, boy! Get fucked! Get fucked! Yeah, I do like a Nobbly Bobbly, if I'm honest. A Nobbly Bobbly is really nice. Gotta be in the mood though, like a fab. It's like having a fab. I used to really enjoy fabs when I was a kid. That's another ice cream. I know, you know, you could, obviously the the typical Flake 99 is also a nice nice choice. Very nice choice. I do like, a, like I said, I do like a Magnum. There is a particular ice cream that comes in every now and then. Fu again, are they getting... <gasps> Get fucked! There's another ice cream that comes into Lidl. Every now and then, a part of like the American section in the UK, Lidl has weeks where they have like a a country, a spe specified country, gets featured, like a uh, Spain or uh, Greece or America. And we get these. Uh, if it's America, we get these uh, McKennedy 
branded stuff. You get these onion rings that are really good. You get these, uh, you do peanut butter and other things. One of the things I really enjoy from them is these ice creams. And they're basically magnums, but it's a peanut butter flavored magnum with nuts in it. Just like peanuts in it. And it's fucking lush. It's really good. Oh, God. I'm struggling to race here, mainly because of my wobbly wheel. Oh, no, it's not very good. But yeah, that's what I like in terms of ice cream. It's a really nice ice cream. That's my honest opinion. But yeah, what's your favourite? You know, I do like a good Cornetto as well sometimes. <gasps> GET FUCKED, BOY! No, you're not allowed to come this way. What if I stop right here? Oh, you do Despawn, of course you do. Because despawning's all you're good for, bitch. Pussy bitch. Get be pussy out of the situation like that. That's what a pussy bitch would do. What I expect from a pussy bitch. You get fucked! Get fucked! Getting points here. Are we supposed to be racing? I, I, I can't say. I can't honestly say. Got a bit of flare there, a bit of drift flare. Yeah, a bit of yeah. So. Tell you what Lidl did. That was really, really nice. Not, the, uh, not too long ago. Was, um, they have sometimes this stuff that's like on, like on reduced or they're trying to get rid of. And that this, uh, cider. These, uh, oh, did he get fucked? Oh, he got fucked. And they had this brother's, uh, pink grapefruit cider. It was really good. Really, really nice, by the way. Oh! Fuck off, cunt! You see you? Fu oh, you fucking despawning cunt. You fucking little bitch. And it's really nice cider. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. If I'm honest with you. Really, really good. Yeah. Oh, here comes. Here comes another willing victim. Get fucked! Get fucked, boy! Ah! Oh, suck it! Ah, oh, you little bit. You fucking. You managed to run, bitch. Run, bitch! Run! What's this? Can I hit that? Oh, yes. Fantastic. Here we go. Oh! Where did he go? Where's he gone? Oh, he there. I wonder if I just park here. I wonder if I just go here. Oh! Everyone now gets bungalowed. Get fucked! Alright, so where else have we got? So yeah, it's a really nice cider. I recommend it. I definitely recommend Brothers Pink Grapefruit. It's really nice. It's not too sickly either. You ever had their toffee apple? Their toffee apple cider is really sickly. It's nice, but sickly. So. Fuck off! I feel like my car is giving up. It is on the verge of complete and utter giving up. What? This is the most fun I've had out of any of these maximum racing games. Get fucked! Get fucked! Get fucked! I'm not even playing the game as intended. I'm just going around fucking up the opponents. Hey, look, look, we're in the jar. Look, I made your game fun. The only way I know how! Oh, you fucking lucky little cunt. Oh, you're fucked, mate. Get fucked! Oh, you, you, you lucky. You lucky little bitch. You little lucky bitch. Get points for nothing here, boys. Look at that. Look at me go. Yeah, boy. Did he get fucked? Oh, he died. He got fucked. Get fucked. Oh, oh, is that flippy dippy? Oh, they both fucking had to despawn. Little bitch boys. Little bitch boys had to despawn. Oh, I don't know what to do. I got smacked into uh, the despawn. Despawn this! Despawn these nuts! Despawn these nuts! Uh, Alright, I've had enough of this. I, this video has just turned into fucking absolute fucking chaos. Me just talking about ice cream. Look, it's, it's just fucking boring. It's boring. Look how boring it is. I made my own entertainment. 
by going like completely ignoring the whole entire race point race mechanic and just going around smashing into other cars. Oh, look at that audience! That audience is definitely a lovely. That's a that is that is definitely a PNG one four four P audience right there. You know that, that resolution. That's definitely one four four P if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm done with maximum racing. I'm never going to play these games again. Thank fuck for that. These games are boring. Do not ever play these games in your entire existence. <coughs> I burp in the general direction of all of the fucking brain in the jar development team. All right. I've been by. Thanks for watching. <laughs>